So we left the fairgrounds this morning and we are heading to Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument where we love. We love that love place. It. Love it. And they have some riding, some scenic rides so we can do bike rides and hikes. It's so beautiful. So it's about, I don't know, two and a half hours from here from where we were. We we dumped the tanks, we got everything, you know, cleaned up. Took and showers. Took showers and and so now we're heading out in the wind. We got to drive across this super windy stretch that I don't know if you've ever been pulling a big fat trailer behind you in the wind like that in your own Man, <laughs> rocking and rolling. It's unbelievable. And the, Makes you pay attention. It's not even a high wind warning. It's just, you know, wind. But, yeah. boy, we could feel it. We're, we're a little bit better right now, but it's still kind of windy. Anyway. So we'll take you with you to Oregon Pipe, you guys. It's so awesome. It's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. We'll take you on some hikes and some biking. All right. Okay. Yippee. Life is good. Life get is outside, good. people. Get out there. Rain or show, or snow or shine or whatever is going on. Just get out there. these bumps right here. Checkpoint closed, but you gotta come through here anyway and do all of this bumping. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we saw a lot of people when we were in Tucson. So we found out Annette's niece lives there and her husband and kids, and that was super fun. And we and we met Judy and Steve, who are on, we met on the Appalachian Trail. We leapfrogged for miles, and they're awesome. It's our tra part of our tramway. And um, we met John, our friend John and Sue were in. We hiked with them. And we met Jenny, a young woman that watches our videos, and she's planning on doing the um, Arizona Trail this spring. So we met with had her. She bought us a coffee. She's so sweet. So we um, met a lot of people. Yeah, we did. Super fun. Um, everybody kind of showed up at once. And, and Cindy Payne, who did our water bottle holders, was in Tucson, but we, we missed her. She left before we could connect. But she might meet us out there when we're riding the bike ride. So, anyway, fun to see people. Yeah. We made it to, um, we're getting water, so we, we stopped here to get water, but look at the Ocotillo. Kind of see the Ocotillo bloom in it. I don't have good light right now. But look at this, so we're, we stopped here and um, we're getting water before we go to our little camp spot. But look at how beautiful it rained. It's, it's, it's really chilly, but it smells so good. It smells great, doesn't it? Yeah, it smells fabulous. This park is. Look in the uh, creosote's about to bloom. Yeah. It's blooming a little. This park is just amazing. One of my favorites. It is just really, truly one of my favorites. Oh, you could kind of see the Ocotillo a little bit. The light is not good because it's so cloudy. But man, is it beautiful. I love it. And look at, we're bundled up. I had to go inside and change. It's cold. I had shorts it's probably, on. It's probably in the 40s. It's 40. It's 42, I think. It's supposed to be warm though the rest of the week. It's just, it just every time we move. Go by. <laughs> <laughs> every time we move, it's kind of a, a cloudy and rainy day, but that's okay. Yeah. Annette was really, it was stressful uh, driving over oh here. Oh my gosh. Oh. For I had the high winds, I had rain. The road I mean, from, pouring. The road was terrible. I mean, that road is just chuck. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, and then it started raining. It started raining really hard, and then you go. When it starts raining really hard, you go by the sign that says "flash floods next yeah. five miles," and it's got this. You're just like, oh, and there's no shoulder, so you no just, shoulder. Like, and you know, it's, the... it's stressful driving this thing when there's no shoulder to the road, where it just drops off. It's stressful. Anyway, we're here. We're so that happy. All right. <laughs> this park does not have full hookups. You just have a spot, um, and so you come over here to fill up your your water tanks and then you go to your spot so it doesn't have the water hook up the city connection at these spots so anyway we'll be using solar and hanging out they have a generator area at one part of the campground and but they're really good at certain areas for the generator too to kind of keep the noise down but 
uh, we've got a spot in the node generator part, so it should be fun. Okay. Can't wait. Here's a really cool campground. So awesome. Gosh, we're walking around Oregon Pipe Campground and we did a trail and we love this place with our whole heart. I'm telling you, yeah. brings joy to my soul and being out here. Because of the rain, which I know I didn't like driving, but it's totally worth it. The smell <sighs> out here is intoxicating. You guys, it's, it's amazing. It's rare to get rain in the desert and we got, had a downpour and we're oh. walking around now and it's uh, it's just like a gift. It's oh. so amazing. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. And this, I have to say, is one of my all-time favorite parks. It is. It's just an amazing place. It's, it's so unique. and so awesome. Yeah. I would just highly recommend every single person to get out here. Yeah, and, you know, they have the model here where the campground is all centrally located. It's kind of a high-density campground. Although, each campsite has a little barrier in between of natural cactus. Yeah, big you know, saguaros. And, and it's really great. But that way... You're in that spot, but then when you go out and explore, it's just open and beautiful. and It just great. makes me so happy to be here. So it's, you know, it's known for the organ pipe, the organ pipe cactus. Yes. Um, you know, it has the saguaros, has everything, has all different. But it's the one concentrated area that has the organ pipe Yeah, and they, don't, they don't grow in very many places. You have to have the certain amount of moisture in the air and all this different stuff that you have to have to have organ pipe. And they are spectacular. Okay, we have a whole week. We were here last year. We did a video when we were here. We were only here for a couple of days, though, like three days. So we're doing a whole week this time. Yeah. We said we're, go we're coming back because it's so awesome. Yeah. All right. All right. Here's an Ocotillo turning green. Love it. So you can kind of see if I zoom up. They're my fave, one of my faves. Gosh, everything out here is my faves. We're walking over to the Victoria Mine.
Amazing. We're on Ajo Mountain Drive, scenic loop. Gravel road, it's bumpy, but it's awesome, it's beautiful. Good job, good job. Yee! The climbing is good. There's Kathy and Pam. Here comes Nettie. Come on, Nettie. Big climbing right there. Woo wee, good job. So there's an arch right up there, right up there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we just rode, so our neighbors over this way, Kathy and Pam, we met yesterday. So we all four went and rode the Ajo Mountain Loop Scenic Drive here at the <laughs> Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. <laughs> it's a gravel road. It's a gravel ride. 21 miles. It's like 23 from here, from the campground. Uh, and it was, kicked our butts. Kicked our butts, but it was beautiful. Oh, it is really beautiful. I mean beauty. But, but, but um, there's some, uh, well, it's got a, some washboard on there that is so bad. You're just like, oh It was God. so fun. I mean, just a blast. But it was, um, you know, it was washboardy in places. And so the climbing was fine. It had some climbs too. Oh my God. And the climbing was good. But then coming you would down. You definitely know if you had any bladder problems because <laughs> it's shaking the heck out of you. It was it's like, Bleh. yeah. So then the second part of it, you're just like going downhill, not like straight, but you know, at a downhill pace. And it is just the whole time. <laughs> Really washboard was so fun. Sometimes and sometimes the harder stuff gets, the funnier it gets because you're just like, oh brother. I have about my phone holder broke. It was so rugged that it was I took the phone off of it because I knew it wasn't gonna work anyway. But just the phone holder sitting there by four miles left to go, it just like broke off. I mean it was unbelievable. But um we we just got home and I can't even I'm starving and I can't even hardly get anything to eat. I'm I'm really my arms are tired. It's just amazing how tired you yeah, are. Yeah, your hands get really tired. We're just sitting here your drinking a cup of tea. Your hands you know, your shoulders. Stuff that you don't really think about. And then, but, of course, you know, your legs. Your, your, but, you know, I feel, fun. overall, feel really good. I mean, it's just tiring but because we haven't done yeah. it, but we haven't, feel really good. We haven't spent enough time on these bikes to really know these bikes and feel comfortable yeah. on them yet. My phone, I lost my battery halfway through, so I only filmed part of it. But I couldn't have filmed anyway coming down that thing. But it was too too fast down and too rough. But anyway, gosh, so fun. But I am more out. I really am. I'm Very rarely can I not, like I don't feel like getting going in there and making me something to eat. Usually I'm like eating, but I'm just like I'm too tired. I just have to sit for a minute and regroup. <laughs> and we loved Kathy and Pam. They were awesome. Yeah, they were great. So fun. So fun. You meet people and it's like, oh yeah, let's go for a ride. That was super fun. So fun. Okay. If you don't hear from us, you know we just never did regroup. <laughs> So 
so we just rode out this um, Puerto Blanco gravel road. That's really nice. It's beautiful, but it does get uh, four wheel drive from here. So the first five miles you can do on it bike. So here's the gate that says rugged from here on. But, but gosh. We enjoyed it, especially after the other side, which was kind of like being rolfed by, um, you know, uh, the washboard. washboard is so bouncy. This was nice and Woo! great gravel road. But it was great. It was up and down, so they had some climbs in there, so it's been great. So yeah, we'll... just kind of a nice little, um, you know, in between ride. Like, okay, that was nice. Yeah, so we're going to look around here, and then we're going to head back. So yeah. I, I tried to video a little bit of it, but it's I don't have that holder, so I can't do much. I, I just, this is such an amazing desert. It is so, so beautiful. It's all it's so there's so much vegetation, but then it's ringed by all these mountains. So everywhere you look, it's just like this amazing vista. It's totally worth a visit. Yep, I'm gonna show you this little sign right here. <laughs>